are they really gonna do this? Is this gonna happen? They can't do this to us, right? They're not gonna tell us that we have to go back to the office, seriously. <sighs> It's a shame, really. It's it's really a shame. I don't understand their logic. Josh Fluke recently made a video where he was talking about that the big reason why is because commercial real estate is gonna crash. I made a video a while ago talking about how remote work and big companies moving out of major tech hubs are gonna crash the real estate market, but I didn't go into commercial real estate. I kind of was talking about more how people don't have to now relocate to live in these cities that are so expensive and they can live anywhere because many companies were going remote and many of them were saying that they were gonna stay full remote, that things were going so well, that they loved it, that employees were happy, that, that numbers were up. And now I keep seeing companies start saying that they want people back in the office. Companies are now saying that they want people in the office to strike up more creativity. They, they want people to get back in the office to have better discussions. They want people to get back to the office for whatever reason it is that they want people to get back to the office for. None of it makes sense. I'm loving that we're standing up to all of these companies. Google's trying to push people back to the office Everybody's trying to get, get people back into the office. You know, there's all these articles talking about how people are pushing back against going back to the office. If you go on Google News and you look for returning to the office, you'll see a bunch of different articles, remote workers talk about how they don't wanna go back to the office, how people are gonna quit, and that's the beauty of all of this. Are we gonna call their bluff? Are they gonna call our bluff? Are we gonna take a stance and say, no, we're not going back to the office? Are many of us really gonna quit? Are we gonna do it? I know that most software developers wanna be 100% remote and most people that can do their job remote wanna be remote. There are some people that wanna work in the office and that's fine, but if you wanna be remote, and we've been remote for over a year now, why are you gonna make us go back to the office? Why are you doing this? Why are you gonna have this standoff between people who don't wanna be at the office and between people who wanna make those people come into the office so they can micromanage for whatever weird reason it is. It's usually just some boss who wants bodies in chairs and depending how high up that boss is, that determines how many people actually have to be in the office versus how many people can work remote. I've talked to many developers who are going through this right now, who don't wanna go back to the office, who are talking about looking for remote work, who are considering quitting their jobs over this. I'm with you, I'm already weighing out my options, I'm already talking to my wife about what we can do, I'm thinking about freelancing. I really don't feel like going through the whole interview process again. I like where I work, and if it comes down to me having to go back to the office, and me having to quit my job, I don't think I'm gonna go back. I'm just too happy now. I'm too happy being remote. I'm too happy not having to do a commute even though my commute was short. I'm happy that I can spend more time with my family. I'm happy that I get to work from home. Every person I know, when you tell them if they would like to work remotely, most people will tell you yes and most people want that as a dream because it opens up possibilities to travel, it opens up possibilities to be a digital nomad, it opens up possibilities to lower your cost of living because you can move to places and not have to spend so much money on rent. It removes the need for commuting to and from work and it reduces the amount of money you spend on gas and the amount of wear and tear that you put on your car. It reduces the distractions and the water cooler talk and the chit chat that I don't care for in a workplace and I know many people feel that way as well but, but some people do like going to the office and so socializing but not me. I'd, I'd rather be in front of my computer, in front of my code and not be bothered unless it's something important. I guess I don't even know why I made this video. All I'm saying is that all these companies, all you CEOs out there, all you people calling the shots about people having to come back to work in the office, stop it already. You're really gonna do this. You're really gonna start a war over this. It's not gonna end well for companies. Some of the highest paid employees are software developers. And if you have very experienced developers that are gonna quit and find remote jobs and you start losing those guys because you want them to come to the office, and you're not a good CEO if you're running a company where you would rather lose your employees than have them be happy and productive at home just because you want to tell them to come into the office and commute and spend their whole day there in 
a place where most people don't like to be. Let me know what you think about going back to the office. Let me know if you're gonna quit, if you're already making plans for the day they tell you to go back. Let me know if you've already gone back to the office because I know that some people are already back in the office and working. I'm lucky enough that it's not till September that they're making us go back or that's the date that they're setting for us. So let me know, let me know what, what, what you think about all this because I think it's pretty crazy and it's pretty cool because this might be like the revolution that we need as remote workers. All right, so with all that said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Make sure to drop a comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. I'll see you next time.